Hello and welcome to a very nasally version of Thomas Was Alone. Uh, I, as you might, I don't know if you can actually hear it through this mic, I'm hoping not, I hope it's not too much of a distraction, but I have very bad hay fever. And yesterday where I am was the first day the sun decided to come out for a while, which gave everyone an excuse to go and cut their grass. So when I was out wandering around, just pollen was flying everywhere, most of it probably up my nose, so I sound terrible. I apologise for that, but... I don't want to use that as an excuse not to record anything. So, uh, I've recorded a bunch of other videos with some friends that I had around earlier, but I don't want to kind of do the same mistake that I did with Hotline Miami and just constantly bombard a channel with the same type of video over and over again. So I thought I would try and make a couple of other videos just to kind of like mix it all up so it's not like something different for the three days that I post videos up. I'm so nosy. Where's your nosy? So yeah, I thought I would I would try this. I mean, this is a game that I, again, like Hotline Miami. I have played before, I'm not going to lie. But it was like Hotline Miami. <laughs> when, it first came, when the game first came out. So it's been years since I played this. And I, I can remember the basic premise of it. But apart from that, I remember nothing. I think I remember like the little dude, the little tiny dude. He's kind of a dick when you first meet him. But, eh... Uh, <laughs> Um, yeah, let's go and uh, help Thomas out and make him not feel so alone. Let's start a new game. Oh, a spacebar. Not the enter button. Tom. Thomas was alone. The program was a failure. People forgot this. It was a massive flop. The coder started adding new strings to the ALS as, as a choke. Thomas, that Thomas was alone. Oh. Did I finish? A weird first thought to have. Left and right escapes the sub one. Okay. I wanted to finish reading it. Oh. oh. Where is it? Is there a jump button? No, I haven't learned to jump yet. Okay. Thomas decided to start listing his observations for posterity. Squiggly lines. One, the whole alone thing. Oh. Two. Portals. They led somewhere. He'd yet to work out where. Three. Falling. Thomas was absolutely fantastic at falling. He was almost as good at falling as he was at observing. Huh. Very interesting, Thomas. We have something in common. I'm going to fall too, especially when I'm drunk. <laughs> Interesting. Thomas couldn't fall past this block. Think, damn it, think! What if there was some kind of inverted fall? Some way to. What's the word? Jump. Yeah, I see under the basic, I see under the basic, the space to jump. But I kind of wanted to listen to this. I mean, he's got a very soothing voice and it's very calm, relaxing. Ooh. It worked! Thomas had solved the great inverted fall mystery. <laughs> it's such, such a nice voice. I want to listen to it. A big jump. But Thomas noted there was no real danger in missing it. The world didn't want him to fail here. It was pushing him, but gently. Tease. I didn't fail. Thomas is awesome. First time... All he needs. All he needs is one go. This all seemed a little dangerous. The world was not to be trusted. It was unstable, and it seemed to Thomas that it could let him down at any moment. Uh, 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 he was starting uh, uh. to suspect it might even be doing so on purpose. Why? Why not? Baron. I hear feedback from my own voice when it comes to screen. That sucks. Stairs. I like I'm not pushing an elephant on these stairs. Thomas wondered whether the portals were actually taking him anywhere. He felt like he was making progress, but there wasn't really any way to know. He seemed to be moving predominantly up and to the right, which might or might not be important. Yeah, even though I do want to send listen to this guy, he's talking so much at the beginning I can't get a word in his like this. Which to some people might be a relief, but I want to talk a little bit too. I want to put my ten pence into the story. My threepence. 
green. It might have been paranoia again, but Thomas could have sworn the world was becoming more complicated. It always seemed to be one step ahead of his skills. Ah, Thomas, you got this man. Designed just for him. He wondered why. Was the world testing him? No. Too obvious. Thomas, you're a parkour master, man. You don't need to worry about this. It's getting too hard. Just believe in yourself, man. Believe, believe, man. And you will get to the top right-hand corner. Eventually. Something about the boiling, toxic, glowing water intimidated Thomas. He didn't like it. He certainly didn't want to swim in it. Well, if you don't want to go swim in it, I'm not going he to He made another you. mental note. Four. Water. Not good. To be avoided. Right, gotcha. Learned the first time. It's always good to clarify, because some people need that little help. I kind of want to make them swim. I kind of do. But I don't fail. This isn't unfair Mario. This isn't forcing me to fail. I'm going to take the advantage of just playing a nice, easy, relaxing game without being told, Ah, oh, Thomas learned that there was a checkpoint that he can go back to, and everything was fine. The loneliness was getting to Thomas. No amount of observation or obsessive note-taking could combat that. Do you take notes? You don't have any arms. It's always like a metal note. Don't worry, don't worry about being alone, dude. Being alone is awesome. You have no one to grind your gears. No one to tell you off. You can stay up as late as you like and no one will tell you otherwise. That's a great thing, man. Appreciate it. Thomas had a new theory. The world was training him. Rocky. He could feel himself Did getting smarter. There was the mental list to consider. Over the minutes and seconds since his spontaneous generation, Oops. he'd become a pretty skilled jumper. I did push spacebar. I did. He was evolving. He just wished he had someone to share it with. Oh, dude. Be proud of your loneliness. It's good to be a loner. Sometimes it's good to be a loner. Boing, boing. Boing, boing, boing. Come on, Thomas. Tell it to go up. Thomas, tell it to go up. There we are. Good boy. Good boy. Running. And you're smart, Thomas. You're very, very smart. Very, very smart, man. Ooh. But what is this? Thomas discovered something. I submitted hundreds of box reports. I told that idiot it would happen. Overlapping scripts. More than one AI was bound to be swapped into an environment at some point. Turns out I missed the point. That <laughs> Chris took an immediate and deep dislike to the skinny oh, red rectangle. Who the hell did this Thomas think he was? Oh, 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 oh. Mr. Oh, okay, so... What's the L? Q-E-L button. R button. Scroll character. Ah, I'm gonna do Q and E. This seems to work. Every other combination doesn't seem to work. Oh. Hey, buddy. Oh, you suck! Oh, let me guess. The guy you took a meat disliking to has to save your bacon! Little orange bastard. Little orange bastard didn't say thank you. Little orange bastard's little orange Chris bastard. Chris had been doing fine. He wasn't the highest jumper, but he'd held his own. He'd even been graceful at times. Yeah. Screw you. Let me make you die. 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 Tell me grace. Die. 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 Die, die. Was that skinny little runt leaping about like he owned the place? Okay, I was actually gonna stop killing you now, but I'm gonna keep on killing you more. How do you say that to Thomas? He is a loving man, he's just lonely and has no friends. Don't say horrible things to him. <sighs> but Thomas wouldn't want me to keep on doing this to you, so I'm gonna be nice and. Okay, you actually do suck. I actually tried that time. There we go. And now you're stuck. Looks like Thomas is gonna have to go and save your bacon, isn't he? These super high, awesome, mega Thomas jumps. Man, look at his parkour. Bet you're jelly. You wish you had this parkour skills. Oh. 
I don't know how you hung on there, man, but that just makes you more impressive to me. Hey, need a hand, you little orange dork. <laughs> nah, I always wouldn't say that. He's too nice. But that's why you should jump on my head, dude. You know that, right? Right, because you know you suck. I'm just gonna go first. Oh, I can't even do it in the direction. Oh, Thomas, you are so OP. I really don't like Chris. <laughs> He's well, to be honest, he is good at falling too, just like Thomas, so they do have something in common. Oh, maybe I shouldn't be too hard on the guy. But he's just, he was so mean right off the bat, I don't appreciate that. I don't appreciate that, Chris. Okay, this was more like it. A glowy white thing. Only Chris could get to it, which of course made it all the more enticing. What would it do? What new opportunity might this switch open up to him? Stairs, dude. Grace, Grace. Another chance for Thomas to jump slightly higher than Chris. How fortunate. Seriously, this made the whole switch pressing thing entirely worthwhile. Now, come on, you both have like your own unique things. Like Thomas couldn't have gone there unless he yeah, actually just crawled on his side. So you know, you managed to help him do that. You just. Shut the fuck up, Chris. <laughs> Was this good? Because on the surface, it did not seem question. good. Chris was pretty scared. Little Red seemed fine, happy to be on his merry little adventure. Chris couldn't shake the feeling that things had taken a significant turn for the worse since Thomas had joined him. Sure, he'd been able to piggyback his way to ever so slightly higher platforms, but where had that got him? Well, to ever so slightly higher platforms, which was sort of his point. Yeah, dude, I mean, like, if you're not happy with this, what were you doing before? Like, were you happy to... You were doing the exact same stuff before, I'd imagine. Otherwise, you know, you were free and then you were captured in this horrible environment. With steamy hot water. Uh, one fine looking red block that just came along your way, and you were Jerry. Yeah. Wibble, Chris wibble, stared wibble. at Thomas with pure hatred. Grr. He seemed so very happy at their situation. Grr. Friends together, Grr. a brave fellowship of quadrilaterals on a quest for greatness. We're all in this oh, ticket. Oh, I'm not going to say that. <laughs> it was all the obvious observation that Thomas was doing which grated. Every time they saw something vaguely new, Chris would hear a satisfied little hmm from the vaulting idiot. Hey, hey it's he good to be. The next portal would split them up, if only for a few levels. Go, go. Dodge, oh, you've got to help this to do it, you know, because his ears have been dark. Can you go to here? And then... Yeah. Thomas just needs to do that. Right, Chris, this is your, your own little adventure from now on, right, man? Thomas can't save your Kevin Bacon all the time. So just take a long run and free fall. You'll do it. You'll be fine. Thomas believes in you. Thomas, you misplace your trust me. <laughs> can you actually make this without Thomas? Oh, yeah, you can. Awesome. Convenient, actually. <laughs> uh, honestly, I am pushing the space bar. I'm pushing... You probably pick, you can probably hear it being picked up. You can probably hear the noise being picked up from the mic. Grr. Dude, why can't you just be a jumping parkour master like Thomas? It makes it so much easier. Oh, we come to the end. Go, go. Parkour, parkour. Boing, 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 boing. Oh, Thomas has a curse too. But Thomas is gonna go the awesome way. Oh, well, not the blocks go that way. Come back to me. You. Yeah. <coughs> and this is not a good idea. I can't. <coughs> <coughs> I can't stop coughing my guts up. Thank you. Much appreciated, moving platforms. Bing. How far should I go? I don't know. One point six. Oh, someone knew. John knew. He knew that this was his chance, a moment to shine. This was game day. Hi, John. 
This is oh, no, Joel, don't go back. This is Thomas, and the other guy is Chris. Chris is a dick. Thomas is awesome, so you know you'll be fine. This would not do. John needed room to show off his exceptional skills. As it was, he was trapped on the wrong side of these little dot things. Where did they come from, anyway? I'm trying. <coughs> I'm trying so hard to like blow my nose during times where I can cut it out, but this dude just talks so much and it makes it very difficult. Come on, John, just come back there, man. No good, 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 John. I think you, John. You just want to prove yourself. You just want to show yourself that you're awesome. You're, you're not dissing anyone, so you know. I'll get you back, man. I think you. John inhaled the air of the open space, and it smelled of awesome. Awesome. Everything is time awesome. to flex those muscles, to put his training to use time to show those little dots how it was done. First you fall in the water, like that. First you jump, and then you fall. Yeah. John O.P. John decided to press the switch to okay. let the little dots catch up with him. Oh, John, John cared for his new allies. I like John. You could tell from the sympathetic expression he practiced in the mirror all these years. Oh. <laughs> and Thomas still has to help out John, even though Chris... No. Chris is a dick. John's a good guy. Okay, all right. Thomas still has to help out Chris. Not John. John's cool. John's a French fan. I'm getting confused. I am terrible with names. Thomas, we'll take the lead from now on, guys. Tell who? Bonk. Tell who? Yeah. Actually, Thomas, you better wait, man, because uh, you know what Chris is like. And I don't want to, like, get John stuck with the responsibilities of him to do that. You know, he's just new. He doesn't have to. And you enjoy helping friends out. Get up there, man. At least you can just get up there. There you go. <laughs> He's just so excited, and he just can't hide it. Oh. Am I actually gonna need Chris's help? Thomas, sorry, Thomas is gonna need Chris's help. Come on, Thomas. Oh. No. <laughs> Sorry, dude, you're just too... Shit. <laughs> I'm gonna need John's help. John, what? Can you kiss a hand, man? Cheers, dude. You're awesome. Much appreciated. Oop. Wrong buttons all of the time. One point. I think I'll stop at two. I think two seems to be a nice point. No. He's a breaker. Second. John was happy to keep helping. He felt it was important to his image that he was seen to help the little guys. Yeah, Thomas feels the same. John's a dick. <laughs> he is. I'm not a John fan. No. Wait, who's John? I forget. Oh, no. I'm not a Chris fan. John's awesome. Chris is a dick. And Thomas is awesome. Gotcha. Can Thomas jump with this guy? No, dude, you suck. And then parkour. Parkour. <sighs> John, honestly, man, you really do suck. No, sorry, Chris sucks. John, sorry dude, I'm so sorry for getting you confused all the time with this John. You are awesome, so... He didn't mind them so much either. The red one, Thomas, had a charming way of applauding every time John jumped. 
Ooh. The angry orange one was less immediately likable, well, uh, but his unremitting cynicism and tutting amused John. I want that cube. Give it. There's probably been like all these other cubes in other levels, but I missed personally. But... No, that breaks my head. I want one this way. No. Do I have to jump on Thomas? Does Thomas have to go? Oh! Ah, oh, no! I just need a Thomas. I need a Thomas to help me out. To grab the dark of truth and help me out. <laughs> Let's get the other two guys up here. Okay. No, I need to be higher. Friendship! Yeah, got a shit. Huzzah! <laughs> Must have missed that one out the last time I did it. I can see why. Constantly failing all the time doing that was an utter pain in the backside. Okay, John. Hello, Thomas. Got your number. Right. Jump. One more down. Get a ledge. Get a ledge. Right. Okay. Dude, <sighs> suck. Right, okay, just take your head there. Right. I don't know if this is going to work. I'm supposed to have a that you just got that one. Right, here you go. Here you go. And then. Haha! I think I deserve a break. <laughs> that was a pain in the butt. Pain in the butt. Ah, oh, and this one looks even more complex. 1.10! This was interesting. A floating target. This would require coordination, balance, and timing. John was sure the dots would be lost, but he was happy to guide them to triumph. <laughs> and because this seems like it's going to be so much fun, I'm going to save it for next time. Thank you very much for watching and coping with me constantly sneezing and blowing my nose and coughing. I'm going to try and cut as much as I can, so hopefully you might not hear any, so that would be great. So just totally ignore me what I'm saying now. <laughs> but yeah, if you want to see more of Thomas Was Alone, let me know. Tell me how. I'm not telepathic, so I can't read your thoughts, but just, like, do something, tell me somehow, let me know that you want to continue, and if not, if it's not negative, I'll continue anyway. <laughs> but thank you very much for watching, and I hope to see you next time. Bye-bye.